Hello, everybody. Welcome to a bonus podcast from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, getting better. My name is Ben Hansen, joined in the studio by Grant. Hello. How you doing? I already forgot the name of the 16 character that I was comparing you to last time. The Earthman. Earthman Jones. Earthman. Croja. Croja. <laughs> We're also joined by best friend Ronnie. <laughs> Hello. Hello and welcome. Thank you all for watching this. Thank you all for listening to this. This is... G g g g guess kind of a spoiler cast for Final Fantasy VII First Soldier, but mm. it's more. We were going to call it Max Spoilers, but it's like that's just confusing. Let's just unpack what this thing is because there's some weird story stuff happening in the world of Final Fantasy VII, and so I rallied the folks here to talk about it. <laughs> now, before we get to yeah. Giggle McGee's giggles, <laughs> yeah. Here's a disclaimer. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. You can unlock the podcast version of this discussion. And our big, deepest dive on Final Fantasy VII Remake. So if you want to remind yourself how good that game is oh, and yeah. help support independent games media at the same time, patreon.com slash minimax with two ends. Jump into the $5 tier. You unlock that bonus podcast feed right in your favorite podcast app. We'll be talking there. The bonus podcast we air every week is there called Party Chat. All of our deepest oh. dives are there, including this. The commentary track for Advent Children that we did is in there. Incredible. There's a ton of just, <laughs> if only you're interested in Final Fantasy VII, that bonus podcast feed is a nice tip jar. Unlock it. You help support these types of conversations to happen. Now, what were And if you this is your first podcast with Min Max, go check out some other stuff first <laughs> and then come back. Get a feel for our personalities and then, you know. I just, and where would you go to get a basic general feel for a personality? I'd recommend the Dirge's Cerberus. Dirge's Dirge Cerberus, Cerberus like, it yeah. is the best and worst of us. Yeah, part five. <laughs> the part three, controlling Kate Sith walking around on a walkway, uh, confused about where to go. That's where I feel like we finally hit our stride. You know, I don't think I played one moment of that game. <laughs> oh, I noticed. <laughs> like, yeah. I think it was just, it was you, like, and the him. whole time. No. Cool. It was mostly you, wasn't Are it? you out of your mind? <laughs> it was grand for the first, like, two hours. Well, that then, was the good two hours. And then the COVID hit. Yeah. Oh, And then I played right. the remaining, like, 18 hours or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> yeah. It was a right. nightmare. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, it was good whoops. times. Hey, whoops. Was it that bad? I thought it was, like, uh, that was close to, like, 50-50 or 60-40. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I think it was. I, I think it was chapter seven. I, I think I did two sessions in the Is in the that right? Basement. Yeah. yeah. I would put it, yeah, I could see I could see 40, 60, maybe for the split. It certainly felt longer. You can check out our full playthrough. It's on our YouTube channel of Dirge Disturbers. Did, you, uh, did you all hear? I think I did a little bit. <laughs> can someone check, check that math? There's no way I was the 40. I think I started. I think I started the game. Uh, did you all hear the Kate Sith news? No. What's that? This cat's back in action. <laughs> Talk of the town this S week. Sithier than ever. Oh, yeah. man. Love it. Because he remembers the whole thing about, oh, he's Scottish Gaelic, mm -hmm. and it's pronounced Ketchy. Yeah. Yep. Don't be naive. What, yeah. what are you I American never, never Neanderthals doing, that. right? Yep. Let the record show. Yeah. Uh, well, Square Enix tweeted out this week, and they said, hey, by the way, we're pronouncing it Kate Sith. Okay, moving on. What are Love we it. talking about yeah. here? This is chaos. Did, yeah. did they say it or did they just type out we're pronouncing it Kate they Sith? They typed <laughs> it. It's really funny. It'd be funny. <laughs> it be they tried to type it out phonetically, but then yeah. they spelt Sith like with an H in there in a confusing way. It was like H the S Y H T. It's like, wait, what? It's, I guess they his? can't just write Sith again. <laughs> Sith as in Star Wars is yeah. what they should just yeah. have yeah. written. Uh, so now I think the internet's tearing itself apart for like, oh, it should have been Ketchy. That's cooler. And, it's all over the place. So um, it's Kate Sith. Yeah. It is Kate Sith, but it feels Thank like they God. simplified it. Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Kate Sith. Come on. Always has been, always will. Yes, well, exactly. Well, yeah, but there's a lot of things that always has been when you're 12 <laughs> playing a game. Always <laughs> has been. Always, always will be, and it's right. <laughs> and everything we thought and everything we loved at 12 was right. <laughs> AFI is the greatest right band of true. all time. <laughs> And the Matrix and Fight Club will never die. <laughs> uh, hey, as we mentioned, this is a big spoiler cast for Final Fantasy VII First Soldier. And I think a majority of you are falling backwards in your chair, dropping your phone, yep. spinning in circles. Yeah, you heard that right. Screaming, <laughs> what is Final Fantasy VII First Soldier? Isn't that that battle royale that was on phones for a while? And remember, I, I kept texting you too, like, hey, when are we going to play that game? Do you remember they released yeah. a Final Fantasy VII game that was very, very inspired by PUBG? Yep. 
And the answer was, uh, the answer was, is it, is it only on the phone? Right. And you said, yes. And then we didn't respond. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you want to go biking? (laughs) Uh, so that was the name of that battle royale that they really, they really tried. They really tried. (laughs) They they did. They really tried. And the world said, (laughs) and so they (laughs) shut it down, uh, at the start of this year. It it felt like, when did it come out? I was going to ask how long did it live? Four months. That Ooh. seems that seems that seems severe. Was Leo into it or something? <laughs> yeah, Leo. Was, <laughs> Leo was he downloaded it, and that was the sign. Yeah, a red alert. <laughs> <Kiss> we <laughs> got to <laughs> shut it down. Get out of here. Uh, so it's a weird anomaly, but the stranger anomaly then is they released last month this game called Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis on phones. And Ronnie, mm. had you ever heard of this? Nope. Do you remember anything about this? Nope. Did you ever download this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Way. Okay, great. Well, whatever Crisis is, <laughs> is it's a free version of Final Fantasy VII where they're remaking all of the original Final Fantasy VII and then all of the compilation things in like this different art style. So it's a Free to play game with a bunch of gotcha mechanics buried uh, in there, but they're technically okay. remaking Seven. They're remaking Dirge of Cerberus. They're remaking eventually Before Crisis, which is the game about the Turks that never came here, which is kind of cool. Wow. Uh, Crisis Core is also happening in there, and then there's like little offshoots of like little one-off stories in there as well. Okay. Um, that you can <laughs> unlock. Like, hear me out. <laughs> But it's kind of cool because it tells like origin stories for everybody. Just like here's a little 15 minute story of like you get to see Aerith going into uh, like her in Midgar as a kid. You get to see like okay. Tifa going into Midgar for the first time. You see Cloud reuniting with Tifa in Midgar and stuff. And like there's there's cool stuff in there. Uh, yeah. But as part of this, what do you want to talk about? No, I'm riveted right now can you can you keep going i will i will (laughs) so what's weird is part of ever crisis is you can eventually unlock final fantasy 7 first soldier yeah which is confusing because that's the name of the battle royale they shut down but within ever crisis first soldier is a storyline in there that's telling sephiroth's origin story yeah yep which is which is really interesting because the first three chapters of this game you do not see <laughs> Sephiroth. He is not mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. a factor well technically you see him in the cutscene at the very beginning you yes which, which i had to go back to because i thought did i hallucinate that um uh, because you see that kind of cool cutscene and then kind of cool yeah, what are you doing super cool cutscene and then after that um it just dropped like this there's no connection from <laughs> from that to what happens then next. Right. So, but they give you a taste. But thankfully, everything that happens next, you say this is equally as riveting as watching Sephiroth slay monsters <laughs> and impale them. I said that several times. Yeah, because it is kind of a funny thing. Because the opening cutscene, it's it's cool older Sephiroth, and it's basically mm. like what he does to the snake in the swamp in Final Fantasy VII. He's basically yeah. just doing like a bunch of different creatures, and then it's, uh, behemoths. There we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then he calls uh, Genesis from Crisis Core at the end. Hello, Jenny, he says. Mm-hmm. He uh, did. And then it cuts to our lovable dweebs. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I started this on the phone, mm-hmm. and then I said, what am I doing? I don't want to play some free-to-play thing where I have to grind to get all these. And so I think we'll give the game its due. Like They're, they, they're putting some effort into this whole experience never crisis from like i just i don't want to play a free-to-play game so mm, mm-hmm. we just watched all these on youtube you yep. can uh yep. there's a youtube channel called faz faz f-a-z f-a-z i do believe um and so they uploaded just basically movie versions of a bunch of stuff from ever crisis including all of the chapters chapters released so far for first soldier so if you don't want to play the game and you want to see what's going on in here that's what we're going to be talking about is Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier. So, question for you. Yeah. How much of the other stuff outside of First Soldier have they released? Like the, all the other offshoots you talked about? Uh, I think it's First Soldier, Crisis Core, and main Final Fantasy VII. That's, I all, think, that's all out I right now? I think so. And the weird part wow. is, so I knew that like, oh, First Soldier is something with Sephiroth. That sounds cool. I definitely want to check that out at some point. Um, and then it's like, oh, that'd be, that'd be a good opportunity. Let's 
absorb it and talk about it uh, in the studio here. Sure. And so we lined this up, and then it was literally a couple days ago they released Chapter 5 mm-hmm. oh. of First Soldier. Yeah. And then I was a little bit scared. I was like, wait, I thought... I thought it was just four chapters and it was done. I was like, well, I guess they released the ending with chapter five. Are you, uh, I don't think chapter five is the ending. Okay, I was just going to say. <laughs> so, either. so this is kind of a spoiler cast for... Up to chapter five. Yeah. 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 And it is interesting. Like, I was looking around online. I couldn't find any confirmation. It seems like everyone's kind of confused. Like, what's happening with these little stories? Well, so like, it is kind of interesting because after chapter four, they give a teaser for chapter five. Did you watch chapter five? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so so we're you? all in chapter five, but like, I did not see at the end of chapter five that they gave a teaser for chapter six. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So uh, I found the different video that compiled chapters one through four. Oh, okay. Uh, all, in, all in one go with the random battles cut out. Yeah. yeah. So when that ended, it's like... <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been Sephiroth for two minutes. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but I, I dug around and found chapter found chapter five. Too. Okay, so, great. thank you yeah. for doing that. And yeah, it's no shedding worries. a little more light into this entire situation. But it yeah. is it is a weird project, this Ever Crisis, because I do think there's like more nuggets in there than you would think, based on the level of hmm. buzz or the fact that people are talking about this. Like you know, we talked about it on the on the MinMax show, but the idea of like. Ever Crisis, when you first boot it up, there is like a wild cutscene where it's uh, Cloud fighting Sephiroth and then like Zack comes in and joins the fight. And it is just like this weird out of place thing. But it's like, is that just a tease of what's going to be happening in the future at some point in Rebirth, perhaps? Mm. Um, And then the other big thing is in the latest Rebirth trailer, which we can talk about a little bit if you guys want to. But there is in... Grant, help me out. Pronunciation of Ship Town. Junin? Junin. <laughs> In old Junin, <laughs> there's a shot of like this hooded figure watching the parade. And he's like, Bleh. And he walks off into the shadows. And a lot of people are saying, who is that? Who is that? And the smart people online were saying, it's Glenn. Clearly Glenn. Game over. That's Glenn from Ever Crisis. You don't know Glenn? <laughs> and the rest of us said, oh, yeah, Glenn from Ever Crisis. Glenn from Ever Crisis. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. And so that was released. That trailer was released, I think, the week after ever crisis released so i would think that they're trying to coordinate that and using that weird glenn cameo if it is indeed glenn mm. which it seems like it probably is it's a guy with a goatee who seems to have the same face as a way to promote the mobile game and so it seems like the main character of this first soldier thing is going to be working his way back into rebirth slash mainline final fantasy 7 now don't that's, be too horrified that's bizarre Ryan. i am um, Lord. And the part that I still don't know that I need chat to help me out with is Isn't people he on the say that for the, like a second though. What's that? Isn't he on the screen for like a second? In the trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's super like quick. It's super quick. And then he, just right. leaves. he does say nice parade and he picks up one and of those. And he does say I'm Glenn. Yeah, one of those uh colorful Tootsie rolls that was on the ground, but it was kind of like all wet from a water <laughs> balloon, but he still picked it up yeah. and put it in his pocket. And then like the 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 wrapper was still kind of like sticky, so he just like sit yeah. there and just like. And that was five minutes. It was five minutes, and yeah. saying Glenn deserves better. And he called everybody <laughs> stamp and ran out of there. <laughs> everybody stamp, your stamp, your stamp. <laughs> uh, so then the weird thing too. It's a good Glenn impression. I guess I, I think that's that's spot on. <laughs> Little frog. <laughs> uh, so, but I guess these lovable scamps. In yeah. First Soldier, they were also in the Battle Royale called First Soldier. Mm. I, I played a little bit of that. I don't remember Glenn, Matt, or Lucia in there, but it, apparently... Lucia? Sto- is that how you said? How do you say it? Uh, Lucia? Lucia? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, Lucia. Oh, Lucia. Know. <laughs> hey. Well, remember... Uh, Lu- Lucretia. Yeah, Lucretia. I like, Lucretia. Oh, yeah, Lucretia. That gross pronunciation. Remember they did yeah. it for the Dirty Dirge and all that stuff? <laughs> Uh, so these folks are also coming from the Battle Royale, apparently in some way. But this is a, a new storyline in Final Fantasy VII. If you want a taste of the nerdery going on, this is mainline timeline Final Fantasy VII. Remake timeline Final Fantasy VII, not Zack's timeline Final Fantasy VII. Because there is like, they have a poster in the... <laughs> hey, here we go. They have a poster in the helicopter. I don't, I don't even know if I'm a Final Fantasy VII fan anymore. <laughs> like, after you hearing that, like, I, I feel like I've been left in the dust now. It, it used to be a PlayStation game. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> we liked grinding. The chocobos were cute. <laughs> you can save her. 
Uh, so yeah, remember the end? There's the whole debate about Zach, and he seems like he's in a different timeline. And the way they're showing you there's two different timelines is Stamp the dog, who's right. that mascot yeah, of Shinra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yep. like a two different breeds, and so in right. the helicopter for First Soldier, the storyline in Ever Crisis, they show that it's our stamp. It's our stamp. Stamp Prime. <laughs> as we go into this thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, high level take what you guys other than being confused about the structure and probably confused about why are we talking about this yeah what would you think about just absorbing a new storyline like this like production values for this little playable free-to-play rpg on the phone here hot takes here we go hot takes <laughs> living in the city fire, fire with us. oh crap okay <laughs> Crap. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, you know, in, in a way, uh, I, I, in a way, <laughs> in a way, it was manageable. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, I didn't. I really, honestly, didn't know what to expect through all of this because what I, what I recall, I have a terrible memory, but what I recall from from our conversation is like, oh, there's there's some like Sephiroth backstory. Yeah, and so. The whole time that I was watching this, I thought to myself, what I'm watching is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad boy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to come here today, and they're going to be like, I don't know what you watched. <laughs> Who's Glenn? <laughs> yeah, and who is Glenn? Uh, but, so it was It was just like, okay, so I'm. we're watching this. I mean, there's like, obviously, there's still Shinra. There's, there's Soldier. Uh, and I kind of didn't hate it <laughs> that's that's that was a ringing endorsement i'm kind of with it for like watching a youtube i, I, I just i didn't RPG. i had so i i just like didn't have any expectations and then i then i met glenn and i thought glenn you're you're too brash you're too brash for <laughs> to be a leader and yeah. as time progressed i kind of started to like glenn, glenn a little bit wow yeah. yeah 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 you know and uh yeah he's a he's a strong leader um <laughs> Here's the, I, I I know what you're saying. I think I was expecting this to be there was there was more heart I yes. think than I actually anticipated, and it was like it was heart that would that did feel like it was in the FF7 spirit hmm. in a way. Yeah, um, yeah. It was it was really strange. I was I was trying to make connections that uh, after watching more, I found out were connections that aren't there to make. Um, like I was expecting there to be a twist where these are. These are potentially like the ancients of the Final Fantasy VII we know. Mm, sure. And then right. just for the the reveal that it's oh no, it's just a new group of people that we've never seen before. That like um, they're invading. Yes. Yep. So for the story, which we'll unpack here a little yeah. bit. So it was like a a weird set of expectations that were then dashed, but also kind of enjoying this while watching it at the same time too. Like yeah, because it kind of um, it just feels like a new RPG, and you can play it if you want to sync the time into the free to play thing with Ever Crisis. But it's like it looks just kind of like a chibi. PS2 RPG. Like yep. I was really mm -hmm. charmed actually by the style. Like every time I saw the yeah. character like running around in a little dungeon and stuff, it's like, oh, this is this is cute. If this was on a PS2, I would have really enjoyed playing this. <laughs> I would have played it, yeah. But then the weird split is like, you know, it's kind of chibi and you know, it's cute animations and stuff. But then the combat like looks shockingly good. Every time yeah. there's like a new yeah. enemy or like a new robot that they're fighting, it's like the production values going into like these combat encounters in chapter four of this optional section of this free to play game that you need to grind to get to. It's like, this is, this is some real money being poured into it. Okay. You don't think so? Well, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, like, uh, so I watched the same one <laughs> that granted mm. where it, it cut down, it cut down on the random battles, but yeah. it would always show a bit of the beginning and the end of like boss battle. So you still got right. to see like a flavor of the, the combat. Um, and it did look impressive. Like that was the, part of the game where i'm like okay this does actually look kind of fun yeah uh i guess i didn't look at this and be like man what a budget you know i i, I don't know how difficult i mean it's not gonna be that hard to make let's see, <laughs> I, I, I have no let's idea. see it i do think ever crisis is <laughs> like make I have no idea. <laughs> but it, it just i guess i yeah i didn't have this this moment of like holy crap I, There's a I, budget behind this. I mean, I, I mean, it looks kind of like battles from like a PS3 game or something. You know, are you like maybe? Sure, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it, it almost looks like remakes combat. I I was surprised sure. by the fidelity of that, and like, you know, it's just weird to see like the chibi versions of these characters, mm. and in a very Final Fantasy VII way, the combat versions of them look like they're in a completely different art style. Mm -hmm. Then just seeing well, like they are, yeah, yeah. I know, but yeah. I mean, it's wild. Then you see like a close up of Glenn in the victory pose, and 
he kind of looks like Ben Affleck in <laughs> like the high res battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, this is so weird. But like all of Ever Crisis, I think, who knows how it's doing? I certainly don't have a sense of it. But like, it is a wildly ambitious little weird thing of like we're gonna remake every Final Fantasy VII thing in this, right? And give it to you for free. <laughs> And hope that we can just nickel and dime you with Tifa in a swimsuit as an unlockable skin. Please check it out. I mean, is that kind of what it is? It's just like, hey, here's some cool cosmetics. A lot Um, of currencies. A lot of currency. A lot of like, do you you need to level up here? You want some of this? Hey, you want some of this? You need to level up here. You want a little more of this? Yeah. Uh, Okay. Premise for the first soldier. We have our dear friends, Glenn, Matt, who they always call the professor. And he says, don't call me the professor. Uh, and Lucia, Lucia, the big one herself. Yep. Lukewarm Lucia, as I, yeah, think, they, as yeah. I think they call her later on, which is cool. <laughs> um, they are going to a se- chain of islands in the world of Final Fantasy VII that, Grant, I'm with you. I was trying to reach for something, but... Where going, are these islands? The island of Rador. 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 R-H-A-D-O-R-E. And the cool thing is, this is in the past. This is kind of Sephiroth's origin story, right? So it's in the past, and the idea with it is that this is, at least, I don't know if you guys had a different sense. It seems like Shinra was at war with the Radorians, or mm-hmm. Radarans, yep. just destroyed them. Then it seems like the next big war is Wutai, mm-hmm. and then we get to kind of mainline Final Fantasy VII stuff. So it's kind of pre-Wutai, their main enemy in the world. And so there's these three members of Soldier who are, they're in Soldier... P zero class, okay. Is how they describe it, and their motto is "Born from Project Zero, Passive Model Class P zero, zero loss when we die, and zero debt owed or to claim." It's a hell of a motto. That is a motto. Neither sleet debt nor is a theme shine in this game. <laughs> Glenn needs that cash. He does. Baby. He does. But I think you know, talking about not hating it. Yeah, Ronnie. I, that was my take too. Is I was kind of bracing for, like, oh my god, I was bracing for some rough dialogue. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like it's fun. There, there, it's, there was, there was one shockingly sweet moment that that uh, like in chapter five, where it's just like, oh, okay, I think I like Glenn a little bit. Oh, I thought you were gonna go further back to like chapter two or three when they're hanging out with. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that that was when you kind of like, oh, he's not so one dimensional, and then, and yeah, but yeah, chapter five was just like, oh, he's actually quite sweet. Yeah, but it, it is a cool premise. Um, I'm always a sucker for this, but like they're going to the Chain of Islands, Rador and all this stuff. Mm. Uh, their helicopter gets shot down because there's still guerrilla resistance fighters from the Rador and army scattered yep. around these islands, yada, yada, yada. And then it's just like they're shipwrecked, crashed on an island, uh, trying to explore. And they're like, hey, we should just call for help. But this Glenn fella, he's like, I need this cash. Yeah, he really needs the Grand's the gill. dying. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and, during this time, the professor is is missing at this point, and I think Glenn makes like three jokes about Matt being dead <laughs> before he's found Matt, which well, I found was like, okay, this is this is a very strong opening for our our fearless leader, Glenn. Well, to be fair to Matt, he is in the world of Final Fantasy VII, and his name is Matt, so I feel he a fair amount of mocking <laughs> is naturally going to go his way. It's the least yeah. cool name. It's no bigs. He's no wedge. Yeah, it's just trash. he's the professor. He Matt. is certainly the yeah. professor. Sorry, sorry, Matt's out there. Yeah. yeah, if you were in the world of Final Fantasy VII, we'd assume you'd change your name too. Uh, <laughs> so they're wandering around uh, this magical island trying to figure out what's exactly going on here. It's like there's pockets where you are controlling the character in the RPG, but it's just a lot of kind of cutscenes and them talking and stuff. They've seen like two, or I guess not cutscenes. There's two cutscenes that we've seen, but the rest of it's just kind of walking around and them talking to each other in the world and yep. you know, all that stuff. So don't expect super wild production values for this whole thing. But uh, it's, it, it's a point and click kind of for movement, right? Uh, no, I think it's like a, you're controlling where you're. Oh yeah. You can do yeah. Okay. A little, little analog or like digital thumbsticks type of thing. So they're on the Island of Sijad, which is in the Rador archipelago. But they meet a fella. There. They meet a fella. And, and his pup. And his pup. Rosen and, of course, the dog, Rifu. <laughs> Rifu. Rifu. Uh, and so he is a Radoran, and he is called the Eye of Rador, and he's hanging out on this island as, I guess, like the watchdog? Mm-hmm. Yep. Trying to protect, protect everybody else? He is the sentry. Right. Yep. Yes. And he has a smokestack. Yes, he does. And it's white smoke if he's alive. Yep, constant, 
Constant white smoke means that he's alive. <laughs> but then if it changes to yellow, there's warning, and then red is Shinra is, is up our butt. Well, yeah, and he's, it's like evacuate. Right. Yeah. Um, so he is kind of him, and it seems like the rest of the Redorans are kind of earthy people. I'm totally with you. It's like, are these going to be like Cetra? Like, what is going mm, on yeah. here? Because even really the building later on, it, like, it kind of looks like... Very Temple of the Ancients. Right. Yeah. Right. I did not make that connection once. That's, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. And even... Well, the weird thing is the music later on is very Temple of the Ancients. It's mm. like a riff off that. So it's like... Yeah. Are, and even seeing like uh, like Materia in its, right. in its pure form too, which, and talking about the like, uh, live stream essentially, it just, right. it just felt very ancient to you. I mean, it could be that the ancients are... Like the ancestors of... They turn into the Redorans and all that stuff. But it seems weird that then Aerith's mom would feel less special. It's like, oh, they just died out. Like, the <laughs> Shinra just killed them like 20 years ago. You totally missed it. It feels like they've been gone for a while. Uh, but yeah, they're very earthy and they're talking about the live stream. What is they call it? Mana in this world. And they said there's something that has to be teasing what's coming up in the future where they're talking about mana torrents, mana torrents. And like those are like tidal waves, and they'll come and destroy the entire islands. Mm -hmm. So it seems like we're going to be probably be building to something with those things. But you said you were tickled pink by Rosen. Yeah, I like Rosen. You like Rosen. Yeah, I do like Rosen. Rosen, uh, Rosen really wanted us to leave. Uh, I, it was his line was the whole time. Well, I'm not strong enough to kill all three of you, so I guess I'll just help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's like, I just really want you just, just, just to leave. Hates them, but is helping them. He's very kind. Time. He's a very yeah. sweet guy, but he's just like, I, I, the one thing that I want in this life more than anything is for all of you to leave <laughs> as like, soon as possible. Yeah, forget that you ever saw this yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is he and just... they did not forget <laughs> that they saw that place. They went back to him like three times, like. I wonder how our best friend is doing. <laughs> Let's look. Is that smoke there? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke yeah, there. typical. Yeah, it made me laugh because, like, you go to Rosen's house. You've known him for, like, three minutes. He, like, yeah. helped you out. Uh, and then you go to his house, and they're like, what's that? He's like, well, these are Redoran cups. What's that? <laughs> well, a cup, you, you pour liquid into Make it. Make me then, one. Why do you got so many of those cups? <laughs> He's like, what are you They're kind of reserved for, like... Uh, we make them for our best friends. And Gwen's like, well, I'm your friend. Make me a cup. One cup. And he's like, yeah, like he literally, he's like, God, I love you, Rosen. It take, take about a month. Yeah, he's like, it takes a month to make a cup. But oh. it's like, this is just, it's a level of specificity that I appreciate. It's not yeah, just yeah, yeah. generic, like, oh, there's a bunch of monsters yeah. being dangerous out there in the mist is blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. RPG. It's like, no, this is a guy who's in a shack guarding his tears of islands. Yeah. And he's also guarding the cup collection <laughs> <laughs> and refuses to make them to honor. But I have a feeling by the end of this story, oh, Glenn's getting a is cup. You right. think that he's going to get. No, I you don't, don't think, think Glenn's so. gonna. No, I don't think Glenn's gonna. It'll take a month. You're saying it's impossible. What happens when Sephiroth meets Rosen? I think I think bad news. That's what I think. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a bad situation. I think the smoke is gonna run red. <laughs> so do you think Sep they're gonna lose track of Sephiroth and then and they're then gonna, they're gonna look over and it's gonna be and it's gonna be red smoke and they go there and then yeah all the cups are shattered on the floor. It's just like <laughs> instead of a trail of Rosen's blood that alive, you follow but for some reason Sephiroth, all the cups are shattered porcelain. Yeah, shattered porcelain. <laughs> follow the trail, Glenn. <laughs> We'll find Sephra. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay. People were asking, like, Glenn, Lucia, how does this work? Is this Chrono Trigger related? And it is interesting. Oh, that, because yes. Because Glenn, more than anything else, other than cups, what they talk about in this story <laughs> is these monsters. <laughs> oh, boy. Are we monster oh, magnets? What's going on? God, these things yeah. are everywhere. What are we going to do? Yep. But Glenn... When he's not calling one Stamp, I'm going to call you Little Stamp because you keep chasing us. You're a little puppy. Stamp, yeah. Stamp, Stamp. He also he's like, I'm just going to call him Frog. Singular Frog is what mm. he calls it, which Glenn calling something Frog, that has to be a Chrono Trigger thing. Yeah, it's got to be a little, just a, just a fun nod. I guess, so, but right? I guess, I was trying to think of like connections between Seven and Chrono Trigger. It's like the Masamune. Nothing. Well, the sword, right? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> nothing no you don't understand <laughs> nothing it's like i guess they're kind of yeah playing up that but it's fun to see them yeah oh hang on commander cruel is this true says on twitch the cups are the secret to the timelines reunited <laughs> <laughs> my god oh according to tetsuya namura glenn's name uh crowboy saying this from the wiki glenn's name is derived from the word green in green matcha tea which he was drinking at the time he named the members of Glenn's crew with Matt derived from matcha and Lucha from tea, hmm. respectively. Yeah, we what like the fun, Chrono Trigger thing instead. What a fun little tidbit there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, Bob Buell said so he wants the characters Masa and Moon as characters in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Remember in Chrono Trigger, you fight like Masa and Moon as like separate little freaks? Yeah. Yeah. They were cute. They were cool. They were surprisingly hard. I should probably play that game again. Yeah, you should, been, we should probably play it. It's been about eight years, hasn't it? Right. Uh, okay, so we're in the hut, and then eventually Rosen's like, just leave. And there's, yeah. there's a lot of chemistry between Glenn and Rosen. They got each other's back. Mm-hmm. Uh, but... Rosen wants nothing to do with them. He wants something to talk <laughs> So they take his little rinky-dink boat, which is from the time when Shinra was uh, allied with Rador, apparently. And they take it and they go to kind of the mainland thing, which is, I mean, you talked about that idea of Rosen is supposed to be the eye and the guardian, but then he just immediately folds. He's like, well, the three of you, what do they want me to do? I'm not going to fight you guys. <laughs> and have my boat. Uh, hypothetically, Somebody could miss Rosen's little island and go straight to the other one. Like, right. I don't, I don't know what he's really but doing. But they see that smoke and they say, well, that's where we got to go first. He can see the entire ocean? Yeah. whole damn thing? I think so. All right. Oh, we should <laughs> mention the reason that uh, these soldier forces from Shinra are going out to Rador is, I was confused with this, they're trying to find a spot, a good spot for a new Mako reactor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which is like, you'd send the soldiers there? But they're like, okay, we need to go scout first and then we'll bring the engineers and stuff sure. and then we'll yep. guard gonna, them. Going to meet resistance. Yeah, they had yeah. a little they had a little sensor there that told them how concentrated the, the Maka was and found one at 132. <laughs> <laughs> we repeat, they found one <laughs> at 132. <laughs> yeah, he's going to get that bonus. He's going to get that bonus. All right. It's, it's kind of confusing in that I mean, I guess it's it's just a game, but they're they're moving like fifty feet, and it goes from like forty to one hundred and thirty-two. Yeah, how much how much could there be down there if there's that much variance? Deep well, deep feet? well. All right, all right. They're gonna find this spot. So yeah, there's pockets of resistance fighters from the Rodoran army that they start fighting as well. In addition to all these monsters, uh, at some point, Lucia says, "If we die before we complete our mission, we're gonna regret it two hundred percent more than if we had died under normal circumstances," which is. A compelling point. That was that was the first time Grant got emotional playing this game. Is when he saw <laughs> that. First tears, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so believe it or not, Square Enix, they love costumes, right? And one of the most interesting parts of First Soldier so far is early on, like, all right, we got to get into our normal clothes, yada, yada, yada. But then later on, I think it's like chapter three or chapter four, like, all right, well, we're getting close. We got to find the spot for the Maka Reactor. We should probably get into our uniforms. Right. And they all get in their uniforms, and it's three little Sephiroth costumes. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the black with like the big things. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Did you catch that? I, th- I just thought they were wearing black and <laughs> black and silver. I, I mean, I think I think that's the idea. That's kind of the idea. Is that, like so you said like Sephiroth is still in his uniform. He's in also. his uniform from this super early era of Shinra. Oh, fuck. and soldier. Okay. I All guess right. is the idea. Very um, cool. So they're cornered eventually. Oh, these these monsters. They really got him. Uh, yada yada yada. And then Grant, what happens? Chapter four, baby. Big Bad himself ascends, de- descends from his helicopter. <laughs> yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop me off here. Uh, and for a mobile game, having tanks and stuff cut in half, uh, really cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. on- honestly, um, you don't. Really... Too bad after that he only does like four thousand damage. But <laughs> but, but for that one moment, I, I thought it was weird. Yeah, so Sephiroth comes and saves the day, and he's like baby boy Sephiroth, like, baby boy. What sixteen, fifteen? Like, yeah. They keep talking about like what a stupid kid he is. Yeah, they, they yeah. reference him and Rosen being like the same age, and then looks oh, like really? they're supposed to be teenagers. Okay, roughly. Like, yeah. We're talking Chadley esque if we had to define roughly the era that Sephiroth's working with. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly one Chadley. <laughs> <laughs> one Chadley in age. <laughs> but yeah, it's weird to have like the introduction of Sephiroth that comes down and just he's like slicing bullets in half. He's slicing. Oh, that was tanks. a very cool. Yeah, that was it. very you cool. Yeah. 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 But it's like. Oh, we're just, we're starting at this level. I thought this would be like Sephiroth's origin story where he's like, how do I pick up a sword? Like, oh, no, no, no. They need to make him look as awesome as possible. And like, before he even descends down from the copter, they look up to see, you know, the savior coming down. And it's just one little white feather, of course, coming down before yeah. him. Because uh, I don't know if you could tell from the feather or the one-winged angel tones and the music coming through, but uh-huh. this is Sephiroth, baby. Oh, God, is it ever. <laughs> he's iconic. Yep. Walking around with a pocket full of feathers for just the right moment. <laughs> <laughs> set, set the stage. I'm coming in. <laughs> uh, what'd you think of Baby Boy Sephiroth here, Ron? I, in a weird way, like, I kind of wanted him to be, because I kept on uh, talking about him being a kid. I, yeah. I kind of would, it'd be fun if he was like, 
10. Yeah. You know, like a, like a kid and he's just <laughs> like, this soldier. Is, yeah. Well, you, like, want, you want like, this is my first battle. You know, you kind of want uh, Eli slash Liquid Snake from Metal Gear Solid 5, right? Where you just see Liquid Snake as like that little freaky kid. And just <laughs> oh seems like, boy, I haven't played that game in like, who's played that game in like, I haven't played that. Have you played that game? <laughs> Do you remember the baby liquid snakes in it? No, I don't. And he's like, oh. and he, remember he flies away with Psycho Mantis at the end? No, I don't. I don't remember any of that. <laughs> I played it two months ago. I, I, Whoa! I, I, wow! I, I didn't play it at the end. I didn't play it at the end. <laughs> okay. oh, boy. It's one of those games that like, when I see gameplay, it's like, oh, that game was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's funny. They're like, uh, it's a lot of them talking when he shows up. Like, oh, the golden boy is here. Oh, right. it's Sephiroth. Oh, he's so good. We've heard of this guy. What did you think of them saying, or Sephiroth saying, like, oh, that's a lie. I, I've never been in a battle before. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, like, yeah. that's the thing. First Soldier, within Ever Crisis, within the Free to Play mobile game, I understand <laughs> it's easy to like look down at, but just like pockets of like, that's a cool little bit of yeah, Final yeah, Fantasy yeah. VII lore. And that idea of Sephiroth. Because he says, like, this is my first mission. Mm-hmm. I haven't really interacted with people. I've just been stuck in Ojo's lab, basically. Right, right, right. And, and then Do you remember I, where Glenn says? Oh, he calls him a cyborg? He do, he does call him a cyborg, mm-hmm. which really hurt him. Yeah, he, uh, liked it. he did not like that. But he, he said, he's like, I don't believe you. Mm. Which I thought was kind of interesting. It's just like, oh, it's possible that Sephiroth's just lying and that right. he's actually more nefarious than, than we're giving him credit for, which could be, could be a thing. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I'm not leaning towards that. I think he was it, telling the truth. Yeah, I think he was yeah. telling the truth too, but it was just this kind of interesting thing. So, so yeah, the way he frames it is the idea. He's like, this is my first mission. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, that's nonsense. You're a legendary soldier at this point. He's like, no, no, no. That's just Shinra building up all these quote unquote achievements of things that I've done because I'm kind of like the next wave. Poster boy. The poster of boy soldier, of the next Which is generation. the idea of putting Genova cells in there, yada, yada, yada. Yep. Yeah. So yep. they're trying to build it up like, oh, no. He's the coolest, and you you should probably take these Genova cells and put them in you <laughs> if you want to be like Golden Boy here. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that he's, nonsense? He's Shinra's game? Captain America. Like, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Yes, that's perfect. Yeah. Except, kind of, the other interesting thing is in this section, uh, seeing Sephiroth so young, like he's he's kind of charming because he's awkward and sensitive and kind of sad. Yeah. yeah, but weirdly, like, also seemingly kind of innocent in just a way. To be like, a real he's boy. got this, like, like yes. naivety to him. Yes, that's exactly. He literally says, like, what do you want, golden boy? <laughs> he's like, I just want a normal life with, yeah. a, with a big Toyota Corolla and a <laughs> driveway and four bedrooms, two baths, <laughs> and rent. Oh, the rent. There is, there's a moment later, yeah, where he's like, I don't want to be a hero. I want to live a normal life. And then he says it again at some point too. And there's a weird moment where it cuts to black. I don't know if you guys thought this was weird too, where it cuts to black and then it just has text that says like, I never wanted to be. Mm. Oh, they're talking about like what a hero he is. And he's like, I never wanted to be. But it's weird because it's like mm-hmm. the way that's framed in like a weird cut to black with white text, the classic like, this isn't just a reactor thing. It's mm. like, is this also tying into the remake theme of having pockets of like Sephiroth from the future looking back on this era of himself? Oh, that's kind of an interesting that, thing. Like like that's the that's from the perspective of Sephiroth himself. Right. Is that he never like, wanted to be this. Yeah. Yeah. He never wanted to be go the this hero path that they wanted to be but like it seems like it's a little bit for the story it's a little bit of like anakin and the prequels sure. of like he starts yep. out and he's like kind of a naive kid and then even by the end of chapter five he's like slaughtering so many ratterans he's like uh this is the mission we're supposed to kill all these guys <laughs> yeah. and they're like the yeah, children we know. And the- if we could just kill slightly fewer human <laughs> beings yeah. he's kind of like i don't know what you mean as yeah. he's drowning in their blood around him and stuff <laughs> mm-hmm. uh so yeah it seems like yeah, it, it might have some weird future Sephiroth timeline stuff going on here. If you really want to give this game all of the benefits of all doubts, I think, and think that it's playing 4D chess and tying into remakes version of time travel Sephiroth. Oh, yeah. Okay. It'd be tough. It'd, It'd be, be tough. tough. I mean, I, I, yeah. There's yeah. a part of me that likes it and a part of me that's just like, this is too, too buried in there. To even, have any bearing on like the the story, yeah. That even, playing. even Glenn being in part two of the remake, to yeah, me, that I it, it, it <laughs> feels like a bridge too at far. This, it really does. Yeah. I, I I like even though I like Glenn, I don't like that idea. I really don't. I don't either. No. Yeah, not my Final Fantasy. Uh, yeah. Are you guys know. not going to like the idea when Rebirth kind of goes off the rails by the end with a bunch of Zach timeline stuff? Depends on how off the rails it goes. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's probably going to go really off the rails too. So. I guess, 
I guess after watching that, just to jump into regular old Final Fantasy. Yeah. After seeing that trailer, they're hitting so many of the high notes of things that I want to see. I guess after that, yep. I don't really care what they do, to be honest. If they give me the exact same ratio as remake of like, give me so much fan service, I can't comprehend it. Yeah. Yeah. Just fill my brim. Yeah. And then at the end, you're going to have some weird timeline stuff and it's like, and leave us confused. Like, I have at it. Yep. I'll take that exact formula one more time. Yeah. It seems like they'll probably structure it the same way. Golden, and it does. And it seems like it's going to be like even awesome. bigger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What'd you guys think of that trailer? What's it out to you? That last three birthday? Absolutely <laughs> incredible. 12 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. I talked about it on the podcast, but it was such a weird thing around it because it was like, I went and I played it for like an hour and a half, but then as I was playing so it, cool. uh, oh, he's asking if you want a beer. Um, oh my God. yeah, one. A delicious Utapils happy dog. Thank you, Utapils. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Um, but it was the weirdest thing because like playing that game, they had stills from the trailer rotating on a screen next to us. So we all sat in there to play this game. We're playing through like Clouds Past and stuff, and then the trailer stills. You were are playing running. through Clouds Past. Yeah, well, we didn't play through all of it. It was like a, it was a chunk of Clouds oh Pass that we God. played. And then it went to like open you, world Grant. stuff or open region, however you want to frame it, of like uh, going to Junin. Like the stretch to Junin from the Mithril Mines to Junin. That was kind of the open region thing. But then yeah. it was like a section of Clouds Pass where you go up and you fight Materia Guardian, the boss and stuff. But you got to control Sephiroth and stuff in battle. And it, was, it was awesome. That sounds amazing did you did awesome. you get to see that scene like where it looked like tifa was like swimming through like the live stream and no she was, like, no that, at... that this is what is, what was bizarre is like even after playing the game like that we hadn't seen the trailer yet and there were stills from the trailer playing and so so many of those were like oh. what like how much are you showing because they showed like that weird shot of like polygonal cloud in the combat thing mm. In right, 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 right. there's yeah, a yeah, shot yeah. of yeah. like Vincent coming out of the coffin. Yeah, you got to see like Rufus. There's so many like wild shots in that trailer. It was like, I, 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 this is so different from anything we're seeing. It seems like the trailer is going to be amazing, and, and then it was. And, and it, yeah, it absolutely was. Yeah, uh, and I then, got weirdly psyched about just the fact that there were uh, like there's a green and a black chocobo. Like, right, yeah. right. That in and of itself was like that's awesome. Chocobo climbing up a cliff. Yeah, yeah I loved awesome. it. And a chocobo flying. I mean, yeah, there's going to yeah. be a lot of chocobo racing. They did confirm that there's no breeding apparently. You just like oh, go really? catch really? different versions of the chocobos and stuff. Because you guys are kind of on seven blackout. I, I sent you like a couple of Maximilian Dude videos and you're like, we I can't, can't, we can't, I can't. We can't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> too much. I just like, he's so on it. Like he's, he's too good at his job. Yeah. 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 So you don't want too much to I, be spoiled, right? I wanna, yeah. I want to play the game at some point. Yeah. Him. Right. Yeah. He did, our Lord and Savior Maximilian Dude, he did have a good reminder of like, you know, the trailers are all fun and good. Uh, the game's coming out end of February, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so don't watch the final trailer. Like the final launch trailer for Seven Remake, I don't know if you remember it. They show a lot. Did they? They show like the ending of the game stuff. Hmm. Um, and so I remember somebody gave me a heads up for that trailer, like not to watch it. Oh, good. At the time, so I'd imagine just something to keep in mind that even like. Yeah, I, I'm I'm totally fine doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I might watch the trailer because I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a remake. But yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like I, I think. You know, I, what you said is just like my hype could not get any higher. So at this point in time, like it's, I'm I'm gonna buy it. I'm very excited to play it. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's probably just gonna spoil things for the sake of of spoiling it and me seeing it earlier than I I could have. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Um, so Sephiroth emerges and he introduces himself. He says he's one of Hojo's soldiers, mm -hmm. and then there's a lot yeah. of like, oh yeah. So he they say he's active model soldier which is the distinction because this is the kind of the era before they're like heavily modifying soldier and injecting them with Genova's cells and all that fun stuff and so uh it's like basically our three soldier people in first soldier which is confusing um they're all they're like oh Sephiroth's cheating like oh they're injecting it's basically like he's juicing it's not yeah, fair yeah, 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 it's yeah, Glenn yeah, yeah. mainly he's like kind oh, of pissed a little bit yeah, yeah. he's making a cyborg yeah. he freaking die. and then Sephiroth this is like, this is when Sephiroth snaps and becomes evil is when he's called a cyborg yeah, for the first yeah. time. He the actually first gets like human the, interaction he has. Kiss in the field for five minutes and he's <laughs> just broken. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like this idea of Sephiroth kind of a little more raised in a lab, not around people. Right. And just a sensitive weirdo going out into the world and just having a tough time interacting with these, right. the rest mm -hmm. of the team. Because he shows up and he's clearly the best soldier yep. and so he's like all right i'm i'm leading this whole commanding unit because i'm also like the next model of soldier yep. I'm, I'm genetically modified yada 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 and they're all like who are you is it like, just go along with it yep but then i love there's like 
There's a moment where this is my favorite part of the entire game for a soldier so far. Absolutely. It's when Sephiroth whistles oh, to yeah. gather their attention. And then Glenn says, you're just a punk kid. If you whistled around us all up again, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> and then Sephiroth yeah. is like on the beach and he like stops and has a moment. And he goes, team, I apologize for the whistling. I didn't realize it was rude. <laughs> like, I love this. I do appreciate Sephiroth that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's genuinely like, hey, man, I... Yeah, I didn't like, know whistling was rude. Yeah. I don't want to be rude to anybody. Yeah, My name yeah. is Sephiroth. Yeah. Uh, let's see. And he pulls out a picture of, of his... Of his mom, of his mom. <laughs> which okay, That's really weird. Have you seen my mommy? <laughs> Do yeah. you know this person? But then I love that. <laughs> no, we haven't seen your mommy. <laughs> then they're aware enough to like make fun of him for it. Like you do know that's weird. Just to yeah. have a huge pinup picture right, of right. your mom. <laughs> yeah, your attractive mom, and and then he <laughs> <laughs> wildly <laughs> attractive. Whoa. Mom. Whoa. And then uh, the yeah, and then do you remember what he says to that? He's like, yeah, that's what everybody saw. <laughs> so like, 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 Who else is he showing at this point? Yeah, exactly. Just Hojo. Hojo over over and over. And over. <laughs> have you seen her, Hojo? Yes. Yes, yeah, for the many times. Time. Of course I've I have. Made sweet love to her. <laughs> but it is a cool idea because he's showing a picture of Lucrezia, whoever they say it, in Dirge of Cerberus. <laughs> yeah. But he's like, this is Genova. Hojo told me this is a picture of Genova. Do you know her? Yeah. Yeah. They said, sir. Redorans are firing at us. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for your little whistle games. Everything you got planned here. Um, there's another little interesting tidbit, and it's kind of it, it's half jokey. I feel like the way they pitch it, but it's like, oh, that's an interesting bit of Final Fantasy VII world storytelling. Of there's a part where Glenn he's talking about the live stream. They're looking at it. It's pouring out of the ground in this spot. The mana, as the Redorans call it. Um, and he has some line where they're like, oh, the live stream like retains the planet's memories and like people's memories and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, I don't want I don't want it to have my memories. Like yeah. it, some weird childhood stuff happened to him. It was a little unclear. He's like, oh, being an adult's tough. There's some weird reflective moment where I think it's a cool like somebody has so much childhood trauma that they're scared to have that stored in the live stream so that other people might be able to witness it. Wait, wait, did Glenn say that? Glenn yeah. said that. Oh, okay. I, I do remember at the end, didn't he just like I felt like he interacted with it at some point and just was like, I'm sorry, or something. Yeah, he, he, yeah, does. Okay. he yeah. does. Yeah, he does in some way, yeah. Um, yeah, and then Sephiroth, even over the course of the chapter and a half, you get to see him so far, going through chapter five, he's starting to warm up, and he's like, oh, this is what it's like to, quote, have fun. I'm truly enjoying it. And then they slap him on the back, and <laughs> yeah. Lucia goes for a makeout session. It's a whole yeah, thing. Lucia, like... That's his She does hair? like that is his hair. <laughs> like, that's it's a very sweet thing. To, yeah. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah, and then basically that's it. Uh, Sephiroth goes too far, uh, kills a lot of the Redorans, and they're like, uh, okay. And then they look and they say, what's Rosen up to? What's Rosen? Rosen? And then the white smoke's still there. That's kind of yeah. the yeah. story so far. Yeah. So we'll see you later. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> oh, also we should mention, uh, Sephiroth is a little cutie boy and he has short hair. And he's he just like, yep. they really are leaning into like what a little cutie boy, like his reveal cutscene is like, ah, oh, <laughs> just prettiest version <laughs> of Sephiroth boy. you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. They were, they were asking him to, uh, uh, Hey, find some compassion. You, you can kill the kids in the elderly, <laughs> but you don't need to. So, <laughs> so let's find some compassion. I, I did appreciate that. And then the hug at the end. Yeah. Two of them. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yep. Two of them. Uh, so predictions where it's going. I think we're gonna find out that uh, Sephiroth is a is a bad egg. Mm -hmm. so I don't I don't think it's gonna be I don't think it's gonna be a betrayal thing. I think I think that they're gonna have this moment of like, like hey, you can figure out what it is to lead a normal life and 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 have friends and so on and so forth. And then I I would imagine that Sephiroth is gonna be like I'm gonna murder that person in particular. <laughs> I hate Rosen's dog. I'm going to start with him. He's just impaled the Rosen's dog on that big tree. Is that the snake. No. Is it Rifu? Rifu? Rifu's going yeah, down. No. Rifu. Rifu. Yeah, there's going to be some conflict there and I think that's I think you will probably end up yeah trying to fight Sephiroth by the end. But then the confusing thing is like yeah. that beginning cutscene mm -hmm. is that like the end of where they're going to leave for soldier is eventually at Sephiroth with like the long hair and the Sephiroth we know. Oh, right. Yeah. Is that, and then that's him calling Genesis that from Crisis like Core? Like that's. Mm. Yeah. I thought that was, I thought that was way future. Like wasn't. Yeah. I must be mistaken. I thought that was, looked like a scene from Advent Children almost. 
Mm, he does have the cell phone, but I think yeah, I think right. the idea was with Genesis, it would be yeah the Crisis Core okay. era, so kind of in between now, and, mm. yeah, yeah, and Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, and where does Dirge slide in there? Dirge is after Advent Children, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did just watch a Dirge cutscene today to refresh my memory of like, did they take K Seth's name? So I was trying to find it, and they, you get did to they? see, not in the clip that I saw. Granted, we did play it, but I don't remember if at any point they <laughs> yeah. said his name out loud. Where did we in get? There. Is it Advent Children where we get that pronunciation then? The catchy thing? Yeah. I don't know. Or if it was just people online being like, technically, but it probably was Advent Children. Has it that ever been likely. spoken? It must have. I feel like it hasn't. Isn't it? This is the magic of Final Fantasy VII and them remaking it such a big one. Yeah. Like, would you ever think the year 2023, genuinely the internet, like, trending this, like... topic, Kate Sith? <laughs> It's so I absolutely love it. Stupid, yeah. but it's just <laughs> delightful. Uh, the other thing with First Soldier that we haven't really talked about is I think the music's cool and good. Like it does yeah. have like subtle remakes, yeah, of of kind of Sephiroth music and stuff, and then like oh, there's some Temple of the Ancient stuff going on here. So yeah, I'm curious to see where they're gonna go with this. Do you think you'd watch the rest? If we weren't doing videos yeah. about it and we're not committing to doing a full spoiler cast for First Soldier, <laughs> do you think you'd be curious Book enough to right like here. We're doing it. Okay. to see the rest of those YouTube videos? Uh yeah, I. It's very noncommittal. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Little bit <laughs> I like it. Noncommittal. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of interested to see like where this goes. I wonder how many chapters is it's going to be. Yeah, I um, do too. It's it's weekly, right? No, oh, it's been uh, no like they released the monthly? four at once, and then they had a big update. Well, oh, an gotcha. update released chapter five, so it's probably going to be like every time there's an update for the app, but. I see. I, I, thought, sure. I thought those four were episodic too. But no, no, I gotcha. think, yeah, those were all in there to begin with. But it is, I'm, I'm scared of the idea of them shutting down First Soldier, the Battle Royale, so quickly that, like, if Ever Crisis isn't meeting their quota, I could see them just like, yank, never just mind. We're saying, it'd happen. be a shame not to get, like, the remake of Before Crisis, like that Turks RPG in particular. I think that'd be really cool to have out there. Yeah. And then if they, surely they have to finish this storyline for First Soldier. It'd be such a bummer for them just to trail off because no one's downloading this free to play thing yeah yeah i could i could see them finishing this storyline but maybe not getting through all of advent children the rpg and dirge of cerberus the remake and all that right. stuff. right it's a lot it is a lot that they could yeah. potentially do if they really wanted to uh, dirge would be a lot of chapters it's a long game it might be yeah. the longest game ever as far as, <laughs> as far as i know it is yeah yeah, yeah. uh i still I still remember when somebody told us we were near the end and that was a <laughs> Damn, Damn, that lie. ruined our lives. Pu Puppy Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> don't remember anything about the plot of Dirty yeah, Dirt yeah, except right. Puppy Palooza. The betrayal of Puppy Palooza. Just hosing us down over and over again. I'm so sorry, Puppy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, but that's it for First Soldier, the first five chapters. Pockets of interesting yeah. Final Fantasy VII world building stuff yep. in there. I do want to see if there's any hardcore fans that have like mapped out where they think Rador is and Right next yeah, I'm I'm kind of fascinated by that. Like, right next like, to where on the map? Tie. Think so? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Shinra's just constantly going over to that side of the world and just <laughs> destroying I hate it. It's bad. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna guess it's the cave where Knights of the Round is. Mm. Think so? Yeah. And it's just been left in shambles with nothing but one red material left there. This is more paraphrasing, huh? Maximilian dude, uh, trademark for Maximilian dude thought, but. He's in the camp that, like, for part three of the remake, like the final part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, they got the weapons. That's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Confusing that they already teased that in Rebirth. I don't know how that's going to happen, but sure. Yep. I, I'm in the camp that I, I do think it's like Bugenhagen just explaining that they exist so they can try sure. and foreshadow it a little bit. Just throw it in as a cutscene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Like, yeah. But here's the earth. Here's the planet. Here's how the live stream works. By the way, there's these freaking giant things all over the place. Let's <laughs> yeah. move on. Um, but he's in the camp that, like, of all the things, think of like what they did to Hell House in Remake. Mm -hmm. Like yep. for part three, they have to blow out Knights of the Round in a big way. I think so. And so he's like, I bet you're going to go around and like assemble the Knights. Like go wow, find all of them that's all around a, the world yeah. type of thing. It's like, yeah, if they want fan service for like the final third of Final Fantasy VII, like Knights of the Round is such a big part of that. It yeah, in sense. a way, yes. And also completely optional. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it, it is a part uh, and it can be completely missed. So, yeah, maybe. Do you think we'll get to be purchasing Omni Slash in this, in this game? 
Mm. Oh. In Rebirth or in the third one? Second one. Because it c- one? comes from the battle arena at yeah, it Golden oh, Saucer. Oh, God. He, I don't pro- probably. I sure hope so. I just want to see that pirate ship that would pick you up in one <laughs> one <laughs> shot fling you to death. You're going to see that in Junin. Pirate, pirate ship? ship? Yeah. That's in Junin. You fight the pirate ship there? Yeah. The pirate ship? <laughs> yeah. Well, he said it repeatedly. I guess I have to take his word for it. That's correct. Um, Yeah, I wonder... (laughs) Are you you sure about this? Yep. Okay. How do you you guys think they're going to handle the high wind for part three? Like, I saw it. You could see it in June and like on the landing strip, which is cool. What about the tiny Bronco too? Yeah. We're just going to splash around in the water with the tiny Bronco? I I think so. But then like the high wind, it's like... Because it's not... What's the... like seamless open worlds. The idea of like, yeah. I don't know what you do with that. Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. Was the car ever named something? Just the buggy. The buggy. Yeah. It's called the yeah. buggy. Yeah, yeah the buggy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope it never goes away. I hope we can uh, yeah, drive hope, yes. the buggy around. Well, the it it time. will it will break down. It will break down. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They uh they said during the presentation this was just you know PR people at Square Enix uh in LA, but they did say you get you got multiple vehicles in rebirth and chat saying that apparently they they already confirmed that you will have the tiny bronco in rebirth cool that's awesome. interesting uh you don't expect to control the high winds as a mega buster i, I hear you yeah I, I i how would they do I, it how, yeah but there were there were airships in the footage that they released recently there are airships driving over the world which is a really cool idea so really like cool they idea can't tease you with like other airships being there and then it's like hey you have the high wind and all you can do in it is set the destination like that'd be such a Just, bummer yeah, but that's been tradition since ten. Yeah, I'm not saying it's a good tradition, but like the no, big, the big hook, like the big pitch that they have in their messaging is like, hey, we're basically making an open world version of Final Fantasy VII with this. Like, it's a seamless world, is the way they put it, and a one to one recreation of the world. But it's wow, that's confusing based on the stretch that I saw, which just kind of felt like, all right, you come out of a cave, run along the shore, go to Junin, you know? So like, yeah. I'm really confused about what the rest of the world is going to look like and how truly seamless it is. It's just going to be kind of mountain paths they, did they, and caves they said cutting seamless? it off. They, they did use the word seamless, which is That's interesting. odd. Yeah. I think it's them. Like, like they showed, uh, they had a whole other gameplay thing that you guys didn't see. Oh my God. Do you want a teaser of something in the gameplay? Or you want to be surprised? There's some fun stuff. I'm down. You're down? Yeah. yeah. So they're showing off kind of, uh, Chocobo Farm, that surrounding area. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was huge, rolling hills, stuff to explore, yada, yada, yada. Like, they're big into, like, oh, you collect crafting materials and stuff, which yeah, I'm not too excited about, but sure, it'll be fine. Take yeah. it or leave it. Yeah. Um, I love it. But what they encountered <laughs> in the open world by the Chocobo Farm, Mog House. No way. Yeah, it's just <laughs> sitting in a field. And then there's, like, a mini game where you go there, and there's just a bunch of Moogles, like, tossing sparkles at Cloud, and he's, like, dodging them. So I'm so on board. I guess you're just going to find these <laughs> around the world and then I'd imagine they still have your sick pornographic mini game in the gold yes! saucer that you can do. <laughs> get it, Mom! Get it! How many babies? <laughs> One, two, three, four! That's my mom! It's just absurd. <laughs> Omega Buster it. says maybe there's an airship controlling <laughs> arcade game at Gold Saucer. <laughs> that'd be interesting if that's how they get around it like go in the gold saucer and you can that would fly around horrible. like an arcadey version that'd of the high wind just, just never pull Sid away from the golden saucer how is Shira rigged in the game <laughs> <laughs> so uh, are we gonna see Sid you think yeah yeah, yeah. okay for um, sure I mean if you're getting yeah tiny bronco yeah, it, yeah. It seems oh like, yeah but that's a good point yeah Seems like you'll you'll do all that stuff, but so they said. I guess in an interview, I couldn't find it, but again, everybody corrected me that they have said it. That Vincent and Sid are in this and game. And Chocobo Sage. <laughs> and Chocobo Sage, <laughs> just not playable. <laughs> yeah, they're in this game, but not playable. Okay. Uh, so it's kind okay. of what Yuffie uh, was last time. Yeah. It would make me laugh, and also it would make me really happy if Pilot in the High Wind. You just went back to PS One graphics. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> why not? Just low res, low res overworld. <laughs> Twelve FPS. You know. It, <laughs> okay what if it's like you know you sit down and it's like all right i'm ready to pilot the high wind and then you just like put your head in a little like vr visor <laughs> and then it's just like this is how you pilot it like this little readout it's sonar basically but it just looks like the old seven map sign me up yeah i'm down cool. <laughs> yep that would be pretty cool um uh without spoiling too much the end of the demo that i played when you got to junin 
You go to Underjunin, as that town is called, mm-hmm. apparently. Um, that's where Priscilla is. And oh, okay. You get to see Mr. Dolphin. They do the whole thing. I, I saw that you got to, uh, in the trailer, you fight the boss that's around that area. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Mr. Dolphin's there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, light spoiler, if you don't want any other knowledge about Rebirth and all this stuff, but you go there because Priscilla's like, something's in the water, something's in the water. Um, and you run down there and it's Yuffie in a boat in the water down there. So like it's, you can't miss Yuffie now. It's no longer like oh, in the woods outside. Oh, that's how, outside. You, oh, I that's see. how okay, you encounter okay. So she's like being attacked by the monster in the water and then the monster oh. jumps out of the water to attack her and it's Mr. Dolphin. Well, how about that? So it's like Mr. Dolphin interacting with Yuffie and then the big boss comes and Yuffie goes flying and she like lands on the shore. Yep. And then you fight the boss and like <laughs> the finishing move is I believe Cloud leaps off of Mr. Dolphin and then yes. stabs the boss. And like that's where the demo ends. 10 out of 10. Yeah, it, it's good. But I think uh, if I had to guess then, I'd imagine you're doing CPR to Yuffie and that's how you're going to meet Yuffie after this. Oh. Right. That really intuitive breath meter that totally made perfect sense. <laughs> it right? did, absolutely. <laughs> Just fill it up all the way. <laughs> it's a piece of cake, yeah. Um, all right, that's so it for the big spoiler cast for everything that you've been asking for in Final Fantasy VII First soldier, everybody. Sephiroth Origins. Thanks for watching this. Uh, look, unless a freaking meteor strikes Minneapolis, Minnesota, yeah, we'll, we will Good. we will be doing the <laughs> deepest dive on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, yeah. I guess we haven't really talked about it. It's just a given. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. Hey, we'd like to. Uh, so you can help support that. Uh, the huge multi-part game club discussion. Unlock the podcast version of Final Fantasy VII Remake. The deepest dive on that. Or a huge discussion about that. By going to patreon.com slash minmax with two N's. That $5 tier. Unlock that bonus podcast feed. Help support independent games media. We're doing this because of thee. Me. Because of he. <laughs> uh, dude, Ron, have you seen that freaking trailer for the remake of Star Ocean 2? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you know that it's coming out like next month? Oh, um... No, I did. S- <sighs> Hang on, this story. I feel like he says- has he seen it or not, Grant? No. Uh, okay. Does he know where he is? No, he's never even heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, here's here's. It's like the HD. I know 2D where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. So it's like the HD 2D style. So they're making like an HD remake, but a little bit like Octopath Traveler right, for Star Ocean right, right, 2. Right. Doesn't this look freaking sweet? Yeah, uh, I did see this because you you. Uh, oh, that's right. I texted slack. you about it. No, I think you posted it to Slack, didn't you? Because of Alex. Oh, right. Yeah, that's it, yeah. right. Um, are you going to play it? I'll start it. Yeah. It's it's a it's, busy it's a time of year. Game. I mean, like, it's coming out like pretty close to the same time as the Super Mario RPG remake, and I've never finished that game, and so I really want to play that, and so I feel like that'll take the slot, but I have... When is Grant, how about you? Have you have you beaten that game? What game? Star Ocean 2? No, Super Mario RPG. Oh. No. I haven't either. And I played it a couple times, and I never finished yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Uh... Yeah, it's a good one. I might want to dive into that one, but is we'll see how it goes. Three Mario games with Wonder, The Thousand Year Door, and RPG all in short order. Yeah, Thousand Year Door is coming twenty twenty four. Oh, that's okay. so awesome. <laughs> oh, it's such a good game. Uh, <laughs> do you you played the original Paper Mario too, right? Yep. Do you have a preference between the two? Because I still I think thousand, I like the first one more, but no, I like Thousand Year Door. It's just bigger and better. Yeah. Yeah. Are they both GameCube? Or was one Wii? No, first one was N sixty four. Oh, really? The Wii one was Which Super really Paper good. Mario. Super Mario was a well, like Wii one where you could rotate the perspective. It was more like classic. Well, it's kind of platforming elements in there. Yeah. Which was odd and all that stuff. Did you play Paper Mario, the original, on 64 back in the day? Talking to me? Yeah, you're a big 64 <laughs> freak. No, uh, no I, I played it probably about like five years ago. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. just like on emulator. Yeah, I played it on the Wii U, and that's yep. it blew my mind because I love Thousand Year Door. I mean, we must have played, yes. played Thousand Year Door when it came out together. Or I something. think so, yeah. That, that but, I... That I was GameCube, if, right? That was, that was GameCube. GameCube. Yep, 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 yep. It's and so I just fun. I love that, yeah. So uh, freaking fun. Um, Ronnie, if you had to rank your favorite PS1 RPGs, because I was trying Ooh. to think of where Star Ocean 2 is for me. I was like, it's, yeah. it's damn high. It's it's high. It's also like, I I never I, I never beat it. It was it was a there, really difficult... There's a whole part with the penguin where you launch to the bonus dungeon and all that stuff. Yeah, I think like it's at the very end that you get like your flying ship... And I got that. And then I think I just like, it was a lot of grinding to get to the last dungeon. I mm-hmm. feel There's like. something like that. Yeah. 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 So I never, I, I never finished it, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. I bet it would be, it'd be in the top five if like maybe number five. Yeah. But how would you get specific? Oh crap. 
Uh, Here we go. Final Fantasy Seven. Number one. Final Fantasy Eight. Yep. Final Fantasy Nine. <laughs> He's doing it. <laughs> Where do you get your ideas from? He's doing the thing. <laughs> and then um, we got Legends of Mana. Legends of Mana. And then says. Star Ocean 2. And, I don't, I honestly. And like, Legend I, of Dragoon is left out in the cold. I didn't. It, it was a fine game. Chrono Cross above nine. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Tales of Destiny 2. Oh. <laughs> Wild Arms. No. No, I, uh, uh, another one, Legends of Lagaya. Oh, Legends of Lagaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Chrono Cross I would put at right before nine. Yeah. So right after eight. I think I'm pretty close. I think it's probably seven, eight. Seven, Chrono eight. Cross. Chrono Cross. I mean, probably Chrono Cross, nine. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't know man like honestly it might be Star Ocean 2 I think Star Ocean 2 would be my fourth Grant hit us I only played 7, 8, and 9 for PS1 RPGs? yeah oh that's interesting yeah I mean on, on, out of the ones that I completed other than Chrono Cross like I don't know if I actually saw credits roll for any other PS1 RPG they and were yet, long and yet they were long you're putting yourself on the internet as an expert <laughs> I am <laughs> <laughs> Look to me. <laughs> I loved Wild Arms. <laughs> we, we said Wild Arms. I was thinking of that game for Switch, but that's just Arms. Yeah, that was the <laughs> less exciting confuse. sequel. Very easy to confuse. Calm Arms was the original <laughs> title for Arms on Switch. Uh, Soothing right. Arms. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching and listening to this uh, bonus discussion. Again, you help support stuff like it over there on Patreon. We'll be back uh, next time. There's a beacon in the shape of. Um, Kate Sith's head in the sky. We will be there. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Kate Sith. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Catch you later. Did you know that you can more than double the amount of podcasts from MinMax every single week by supporting us at the $5 tier on Patreon? You don't have to listen through the browser or anything dumb like that. You'll get access to a private RSS feed if you support us on Patreon. You put it in your favorite podcast app, and then bam, you can listen to our weekly bonus podcast party chat, the podcast versions of The Deepest Dives, MinMax interviews, Max spoilers, and you get the MinMax show podcast a day earlier than everybody else. So please help support independent games media. Head over to patreon.com slash minmax with two ends.